I make this video to bring glory to Father God, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit to where I could dash. Brothers and sisters in Christ, I wanted to <coughs> I wanted to make a video and I wanted to talk about I wanted to talk about this with you. I wanted to say to you, you know, um, you know, pertaining to my my near death experience, and I wanted to revisit it. I wanted to say, I wanted to say to you, those of you that are skeptics that treat it like, like I'm making it up or treat it like I was hallucinating, I want to say to you, is it is it worth it? What I mean is. I was all right. I, I was listening to vision, the vision and revelation of Paul, when he talks about what he's seen in heaven, hell. When he's seen uh, the soul, when he's seen the soul of a of a of a saint, you know, die as it died, as he's seen the soul of a sinner as it died. And when he was speaking about the soul of the sinner, you know, it, it was he was seeing it as. The 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 Milan angel, you know, the demon was trying to draw its soul, whereas it drew its soul out of its body. Brothers and sisters in Christ, with my when I say my near death experience, it happened. I watched as this being was trying to draw my soul out of my body, like as it was trying to take me there. And I say to you, is it worth it? You know, I talk to people about my experience. I share the truth of what happened to me. I didn't hallucinate. I didn't add to or take away from this happened to me. You know, where I felt it as it was trying to grab my soul out of my body. I can't convince you of it because it didn't happen to you. And nor is it my job to. And I say to you, is it worth it? Is it worth continuing this sin? Like, is it worth continuing to smoke weed? Is it worth it? Like, when you see this malign spirit trying to draw your soul out of your body. Because that's what happened to me. Is it worth it? Is it worth you keep smoking? Is it worth, you, you know, hey, it's not a drug, it's this or that. I'm explaining to you what happened to me, what you don't see in the spirit. And I say to you, is it worth it? I'm not, you know, there was two videos I was really wanting people to comment on. And those two really are it. But I say to you, is it worth it? When you see... A demon, like, is it is it worth being where I was? You know, when you see this demon trying to draw your soul out of your body, was it worth it? Is it worth it? Is a dime bag worth it? Is that nickel bag worth it? Is 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 the coke you snorting worth it? Is the alcohol you drinking worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth being a drunkard? Is it worth not having a sober mind? You know, I say this to you not to degrade you or to demean you, but genuinely. After you hear my testimonies, who's to say you would get an opportunity to live through it like I did? Who's to say it? Who's to say you would live through it and come out of it like I did? Who's to say you will? You know, if I didn't have his YouTube channel and if I didn't serve God like I do now, or if he didn't see a time where I was going to serve him like you do now, I probably would have died. I say to you, you're not you're not to know, as I'm not to know when we're gonna die. 
when we're gonna, you know, when our soul leaves this body. We're not to know. Who's to say you you got high and not to know if someone robbed you and killed you? Who's this who the point I'm making is is it worth it? Many people don't think about the day we die. Many people just live for this life. Like, hey, we're gonna live like this is our live like this is our last day. But this is my this is my question to you. When is your last day? Is it worth it? The choices that people make and the near-death experience that lead to this, I say to you, is it worth it? After all these testimonies you come across, is it worth living this in? Is it worth carrying off as you've been carrying? Is it worth it? That's my question to you. I'm going to put under this the video of my near-death experience, and I'm going to put also the vision of Revelation of Paul as well as Lazarus and the rich man. And I say to you, those of you that are skeptics, those of you that are hard-hearted, that want to continue off in your sin, if they won't listen to Moses, and they won't listen to the prophets, they won't listen, even if someone comes back from the dead. With my near-death experience, it happened. And I hate it to be with those of you that reject my testimony. Hey, you're full of crap. Da, 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 da. You're a nut. You're this. You're that. You're this. You know, nothing personal. But God forbid something happened to you and you die. And you go to the place of the dead. And you're in a situation where, I don't know, somebody's having a near-death experience going through hell. And they're walking with Jesus and you see Jesus and you see that person. And you say to Jesus, you say to him, please. Please, you know, send, please send that girl to my family. Please say something to my family so they don't join me. Please, can you please say something to my family? Girl, please say something to my family so they don't carry off in this way. My last name is this. Please, will you say something? Please, I'm begging you, say something because they own up on earth and they're not aware that they're going to the place. They, they're going to join me. Please say something so they don't join me. And Jesus says, you didn't listen. They didn't listen to people who are alive. What makes you think they're going to listen to people that came back from the dead?